Hey guys, Joe Bomb 19 Fuller Nick here today, and I'm doing a dual commentary with my friend Koki or Sean, which I might be uh, addressing him as during the commentary, so if I do, that's his name, but I'll let him introduce himself. Hey guys, my name's Koku, and I do a lot of gaming on my channel, a lot of like funny stuff, just random stuff, and whatever it is. It's just a bunch of random mishmash stuff. But before I get into the commentary, um, the gameplay, it should be on combat training on Black Ops 2. But if it's not, it might be another one, obviously. But yeah, that's it. So um, I'll let you lead into it. See, you know, see what you got. All right. Uh, I wanted to talk about favorite commentators. And what's right. your commentator? All right. Um, my favorite commentator. Well, which one I started with or which one got me into uh, YouTube 2 as well or which one I like now? Your influential one, the one that really makes you All like right. well, want to do it. Let's just, I'm going to start off with what actually got me started on YouTube, period. Um, would be Shane Dawson. When I first saw his videos, I started posting random crap on YouTube, which was actually on this account too, but I just deleted all those just to make it to a gaming channel. But my gaming influence for YouTube was X Jaws. When I, I saw him on the home page one time back in the day before they had all this new crap on the uh, home page, whatever they have now. And, but x -Shows, yeah, he really got me influenced, but he doesn't do many commentaries anymore. And it's kind of unfortunate because he was really good, but now I think he's more in for, it for the money, you know? Yeah, but, I completely agree. Uh, x -Shows, he's he's dumbed down a lot of his content, but he's still yeah. a great commentator. For I what don't he think does. he's as humble as he used to be. No, he's really not. And I, I loved his uh, days in Black Ops 1 when he would do uh -huh. the Road to Gold. Yeah, That was yeah. some really good that, videos. Yeah, and, but now my favorite commentator is Syndicate. And one of the biggest reasons is to fucking love his accent. And then, um, he's humble. You know, he he never has a big head, really. And he's just immature a bit and just wild. But, yeah. Um, how about you? Yeah, um, my favorite, my, like, the commentator that really made me want to do this was actually Muzza Fuzza. And he's not actually that popular anymore. And he only gets, like, five grand of view yeah. or a uh, video. And, like, he was the most influential to me just because of how, like, random he was. And I love that about him. But as of right now, my favorite commentator either has to be C Nanners, just because he's sort of, like, what I try and follow whenever I do do a video. Uh -huh. Or uh, I really do actually like Syndicate as well because he has, like, just a, a great, like, simplistic look to his videos. Uh -huh. And it's just, like, it's hilarious. He's really down to earth, too. So Yeah. He's nice. I think one of the best things I like about commentators is when they don't talk about the money issues. Oh, yeah. And the drama, you know, yes. Woody always posts about drama. Now, I'm not calling Woody out or anything, but, I mean, I love Woody, but, it, you know, the drama, I think drama is more just to get views on that video. Yeah, I completely agree. Because, I'm, you know, I don't really care about Raw Instinct anymore. No, I don't either. <laughs> um, I fly a line eye. He, you know, he was on some sex site. And Wings of Redemption with um, Syndicate, you know, the 1v1 rage. So... You know, yeah, we're all going to remember this stuff, but do we really care? <laughs> no. Yeah. But, hey, that's... I, I love Woody's channel, but I, I would love to see that he doesn't do as many uh, drama alerts, sort of like how... Uh, yeah. I don't know. He, stuff like that. I forget who it was. I think it was 402 Thunder, I'm pretty sure. And mm -hmm. he was calling out Colin, and he called him a f effing faggot retard or something. Yeah. And he didn't... Woody didn't even make a response about that. Him and his wife did it too. I mean, with Woody, that might have been okay, but his wife was in it. That was a little overboard for me, you know. Yeah. But, uh, I think it was four zero two thunder. He shouldn't have said anything in the first place. But yeah, that's how commentators go. But um, so let's talk about consoles. So I would like to know what your first console was. Um. Well, obviously, I had like a Game Boy when I was really young, but like a full real console was actually the PS2. And I played a lot of that when I was younger. No yeah. online. I don't even think there was online for that. Or if it was, it probably wasn't that good. Yeah. But I played a lot of PS2, and I played something. It was sort of like Mortal Kombat, but I don't think anyone will know the name. It's called Marvel Nemesis. And it's where you play as uh, Marvel characters like Spider-Man, etc. And you get to like fight them as a Mortal Kombat scene. It's really fun. Um, My first console was the PS1. And the only reason I, I date back to the PS1 is because my sisters are... 27 and 29 so they you know they they gave me the ps1 for christmas so mm -hmm. i was like man this is pretty cool i'll try it out so i tried out and i it was some game it was like a shadow game where you actually had to follow your freaking shadow or something was it called shadow colossus i don't know i don't think so ah uh. <laughs> what was it i can't remember but it was something like that and then there was um final fantasy 7 that was uh, the first yeah. game oh mm -hmm. yeah 
dude that was the shiz back in the day <laughs> but um yeah that was pretty sweet i love that um but new consoles how about new consoles what are you looking forward to in new consoles well considering they haven't said anything about the xbox 720 or the xbox elite or whatever it's actually going to be called who never knows yeah i'm actually looking really forward to the ps4 and i think that's going to be really good i love the console or the controllers with the touch screen I think yeah. that's going to play a really good role in the uh, development of it and like what um, developers could actually do with their games. Yeah, well, I think m for me right now it's the Xbox. And the only reason I'm leaning towards that is I think Xbox has the heads up on the PS4. They already know what's going to be in the PS4. Mm -hmm. And the Xbox, I think they're really going to keep it on the down low. You could, like, for when the PS4 was first announced, there was a lot more leaks, a lot more stuff that was true when it came out. Xbox, you're not hearing that much, other than it's almost the same as a PC as the PS4 is. So that's I think that they might have the heads up on them compared to PS4. But, you know, that's just me. And I think Daisy might only become to Xbox, but if it comes to PS4, I might reconsider my thought. But, you know, you never know. Yeah, like with the last consoles, um, the Xbox actually had the heads up. Whether you like it or not, they actually did sell more than the PS3. Yeah, 3. And... I just think it's a lot better anyways, but this time, I don't know really know who's going to do better, because they're actually going to, they look very similar to each other, it's basically just going off which your friends are on now. Yeah, and with the PS3, there was a lot more um, games for Xbox only, because PS3 was so hard to program on, it yeah. was like a machine they've never seen before, at least the 360 was somewhat close to a PC, so a lot of game designers could pretty much just transfer halfway the stuff from PC to Xbox. You know, they have to put in a lot of their own coding. But other than that, they couldn't really do that. If you were trying to transfer something from Xbox to PC, that's very easily done. So, but from PS3 to Xbox, or PS3 to PC, my bad, um, that's a lot harder to do. That's why I think Xbox has a lot more um, their own games, you know, like Gears, so on and so forth. Mm. I actually wanted to talk about some new hyped games, and I wanted to see what you were hyped for this 2013 year. Um, man, all right. So I have about five games. Let me think about this for a second here. Um, so I'm going to go in order, not from favorite to least favorite, but just what's coming out. Um, State of Decay, by far, that's the first one. Um, then the next one, I think Madden 25, I think that comes out next. And then Battlefield 4, GTA 5. What else? I know there was one more. I'm not excited about Cod Ghost. Um, Unless this new engine brings something amazing, but I don't know. COD Coast, I think it might just be like all the other CODs, unless, like I said, the new engine brings something amazing. But yeah, how about you? Um, I'm feeling like everyone obviously is excited for Grand Theft Auto V. Oh, yeah. But, and then there is also, I, I'm really hyped about Destiny, which is um, Bungie's mm -hmm. new game. With and then vision? my number one game is actually Metro Last Light, which is sort of an RPG role playing game where yeah. you would. Uh, with a more of a sort of a first person feel to it and it's like it's sort of a zombie game not really but you're like in like russia and it's really awesome and i'm into games like that and fallout yeah. 3 was actually my favorite game ever so i think it's gonna mimic that a lot so it, it it's from it's the sweet cool sequel of metro uh, 2033 right yes 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 and that was kind of like the creatures in that were kind of like dead space creatures Mm-hmm. Uh, this time i don't remember what they looked like in the first one but this time they're actually a lot bigger i think yeah. And they're like these giant like centipedes and everything. It's it's pretty cool. <laughs> I have to try Metro 2033 out again because I only got the demo for that or whatever. Mm. Or I tried it out real fast. And I didn't really like it at first. But now hearing about it, it seems pretty cool. Because Dead Space is a very difficult game to get into sometimes. Yeah. So Metro 2033 just seems like a bit softer game to get into. I don't know. But, yeah, um, I completely agree. Yeah. Um, what about one of the first games you've actually tried at? Like... You know, you've played games, said, okay, whatever, this is kind of fun. Like Final Fantasy, that when that was one of my first games, I was like, yeah, this is fun. I don't really care what I do. But, like, for one of your first games that you cared about and actually cared to win about, when, uh, what was your my, favorite? Or, yeah, um, my first, like, game that I was actually, like, into and I was like, hey, I'm actually going to be, like, good at this was either had to be Black Ops 1 was, like, that was when, like, that was my second ever Xbox Live game that I ever got. And I was like, hey. This is where I'm going to do good. I'm going to get my stats up. I'm going to get all the gold guns. I'm going to do this, this, and that. Yeah. And besides that was actually, like, my very first, uh, like, sort of game. I don't 
really know how to explain it, but um, was Call of Duty World at War Zombies. Mm -hmm. And I, w I went to my friend's house and I saw it and I was like, hey, how do you get these new maps? And he was like, all right, you have to get Xbox Live, you have to do this, this, and that. And I was like, all right, I'm going to do this and I'm going to get really good at it. And that's where I started off and that's why I really love zombies even till today. Yeah. Um, for me, my first game I actually ever cared to win about, and I think that gives me a bit of competitiveness when it comes to games sometimes. Um, Madden 06, it was, I just wanted to win all the time. My sister, she does nothing about video games, but she's like, hey, I got this for you for your birthday. Um, here, try it. And she would beat me at it, right? But <laughs> now I'm just really good at that game. That's my best game. But if you want to talk about multiplayer-wise, uh, I think my first COD that I actually tried was COD World at War. Um, I, back then, I was off with zombies. Um, so, yeah, but I liked zombies back then. I was just, when I got to round 10, I was, the, I was like a kid in a candy store, you know? So, yeah. I was so happy. But multiplayer-wise, that was definitely the game. Um, but also, Battlefield Back Company 1. Yeah, that did, but... You know, actually, but um, so yeah. yeah. It's a little bit older of a game. Um, what do you think about Call of Duty and where it's going? Because we talked about that a very little bit and how you're not really hyped for Call of Duty Ghosts. Yeah, yeah. What do you um, think about where it's going? Honestly, uphill. Just because of the new consoles coming out, I think Call of Duty still has a lot of leeway with the Xbox. Um, mm -hmm. that's why they're gonna be announcing the new gameplay trailer with the Xbox May 21st new generation of console or whatever um so i think they're still gonna have tons of leeway with, leeway with the xbox um but i think it's just gonna keep going uphill it's a very simple game to get into yeah it's a, it's a really easy game for newcomers and it's actually a really good game for those who like to try hard and do mlg and whatever you like to do it has like a lot of uh yeah. outlets of what you can do in that game and i think that's why it's on top right now is because it caters to every single person uh -huh. And, but I would actually, I know it's really bad to say, but I would like to see it fall and see a new king rise. And yeah. I just think that because it's been in power so long, people are sort of getting, oh, this is just a cut and paste, copy and paste, and so forth. But I think that I would really like to see a new game, uh, like an indie game or something, really like take the shine, like how Minecraft did. Yeah. And just take control of the consoles and take it back for what it is. And I think Destiny could have the possibility of doing that. But I think COD... To me, it's going downhill in certain ways, and other things are getting better. Yeah, well, I feel the same way other than um, the up, the downhill part, just because, I, you know, no matter what, COD's always going to be one of those games that just shine. Um, for PC, it's not. Yeah, I mean, Minecraft, I think, is one of the biggest games for PC, and it's bigger than COD for PC. For consoles, though, it's by far the biggest game. But like I said, like you were saying, I mean, um, does Destiny have a multiplayer? I don't know yet. It's not out. It's the new Bungie game. Yeah. I, I'm, I guarantee it's going to have a really good multiplayer, though, just because it's Bungie. If it does have a multiplayer, it, and I could see it becoming a big game just because Activision and Bungie. Bungie, you know, obviously Halo was a huge franchise, and Activision, I mean, obviously Call of Duty. So, but if it does take the cake, I'll be happy because I think COD should start to die down a little bit. I don't know why it still gets so much hype. Not hating on COD or anything, but you know what I mean? Yeah. I think there's other games out there that are better, much better made. They care more about the community um, instead of just money. So I think other games deserve a lot more credit than they do compared to Call of Duty. But yeah, that's been Joe Bomb 19 for Nick with Koku. And if you want to go and watch the second part, go to his channel. There will be a link in the description. And, but like I said, it's been Joe Bomb 19 for Nick. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe.